Hi guys, my name is Edwin Ortiz Jr. And I am Joki Delplarfua. I am Ermian Pirater. My name is Vladimir Joshua Perez. Currently taking up Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management at J. Chevalier State College. Today, we are going to share and discuss our knowledge and our learning of the country Hong Kong. Listen and enjoy. Hong Kong is a special administrative region of the People or Republic of China. It's comprised 200 islands located in Eastern Asia, bordering the South China Sea and China. Much of Hong Kong terrain is hilly to mountainous with steep slope. The government of system is a limited democracy, the chief of state and is the president of China, and the head of government is the chief of executive of Hong Kong. Hong Kong has a free market economy in which the price of goods, service, and determine in free price system. Hong Kong is a member of Asia Pacific Hong Kong. What we have and Hong Kong flag. Hong Kong flag, the design as well as the cultural, political, and regional meaning, the color itself. Significant red color is the festive color for Chinese people, used to convey a sense of celebration and nationalism. Moreover, the red color is identical to the use of national flag and the people of Republic of China, chosen to signify and the link that established between the two post-colonial Hong Kong and mainland China. So the position of red and white on the slice, the one country and the two system. A stylist white five petals called Bohaina Blakena in century of red field. The red color of flag is coincide with the flag of the people of Republic of China. Country information. The nationality of uh, now so the country profile as see you can call the people of Hong Kong as a Hong Kongers. Hindi con Hong Kongese. They are called Hong Kongers. Literacy rate. Adult literacy rate is a percent of people age 15 and above who can both read and write with understand a short, simple statement about that their every lie. Hong Kong literacy rate for 1990 to 20 was 96 percent. The capital city of Hong Kong. National Airlines. So here is the National Airlines of Hong Kong. It's called Katai Airlines and it's a five-star airlines. Hong Kong Tourism Slogan. And of, and of course, the tourism slogan of Hong Kong has changed. There is the best of all its Hong Kong. So we will now proceed to discuss the top attractions in Hong Kong. And of course, you guess the number one attraction in Hong Kong. It is our dream destination, the Hong Kong Disneyland. So Hong Kong Disneyland is one of the largest theme parks where you can live your childhood dream and then explore the seven lands, namely the Main Street USA, Adventureland, the Grizzly Gulch, the Mystic Point, 
Toy Story Land, Fantasy Land, and Tomorrowland. Here you can expect different Disney characters and have an action-packed day with cute little cartoons. And what is interesting is that most of the performers of Hong Kong Disneyland are Filipinos. We have many Filipino talents working in Hong Kong as talent performers, such as dancers and singers. Visiting Hong Kong without going to Disneyland is never a visit to Hong Kong at all. So therefore, if you are if you'd like to visit Hong Kong, you have to visit Disneyland, and it's a must-have. Second, we have Ngong Ping Cable Car. It is a bicycle bicycle gondola lift on Lantau Island in Hong Kong, intended to improve tourism to the area. The area lift was previously known as Tong Chung Cable Car Project before acquiring the Ngong Ping 360 brand in April 2005. It consists of the Ngong Ping Cable Car, formerly, formerly known as the Ngong Ping 360 Sky Rail and the Ngong Ping Village. Ngong Ping Cable Car it marks its place as one of the most striking tourist places in Hong Kong. Third, Star Ferry. The Star Ferry is a passenger ferry service operator and tourist attraction in Hong Kong. Its principal routes carry passengers across Victoria Harbor between Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. The service is operated by the Star Ferry Company, which was founded in, in 1888 as the Kowloon Ferry Company and adopted its present name in 1898. We have, next, we have the Dragon's Back. The Dragon's Back is a mountain ridge in southeastern Hong Kong Island. Hong Kong in Hong Kong. It passes to Shek O Peak. It lies within the Shek O Country Park. In 2019, the Dragon's Back Trail was selected by CNN as one of the world's best trails. And it's, it ranked as the 23rd best trails in the world. Next, um, the Dragon's Back is part of Stage 8 of the Hong Kong Trail. Next is the Ocean Park in Hong Kong. Ocean Park, Hong Kong, commonly known as Ocean Park, is a marine mammal park, oceanarium, animal theme park, and amusement park, amusement park situated in Wong Chok Hang and Nam Long Shan in Southern District of Hong Kong. It is the second largest theme park in Hong Kong after the Hong Kong Disneyland, as well as it is the largest theme park in Hong Kong by area. So it is also the second oldest theme park in Hong Kong. So we now proceed to the local cuisine in Hong Kong. First, the national dish or the most famous dish in Hong Kong is the sweet and sour. It can be pork or chicken, but what is more popular in Hong Kong, of course, is the pork. So sweet and sour pork is probably the most famous Hong Kong food, which has made its way into several Chinese restaurants around the world. So the cuisine in Hong Kong is highly influenced by, by Cantonese cooking. So one such Cantonese dish that has become increasingly popular in Hong Kong is the sweet and sour pork, which can also be found in many Chinese and Hong Kong restaurants across the globe. The local would, the local would cook sweet and sour pork. They would be using spare ribs or pork loins. And of course, this used traditional scarlet sauce, which is made with vinegar, preserved plants, and cotton candy. 
Second would be the wonton. Our little ready main cross hands added to clear soup along with other ingredients. Wonton are sometimes fried. That's why we have the fried wonton or just basically steamed wonton. And several shapes are common depending on the region and the cooking method used in preparing the wontons. The famous are called the Sichuan style wontons. The third one is the roasted goose. The version of this roast goose is Peking duck. Peking duck is the old name of Beijing, so it's originated in Beijing. So it's a local delicacy in mainland China. So the Cantonese cuisine also have a Peking duck. This is the roast goose. Goose is a whole goose roasted with several ingredients. And sometimes these ingredients depends of family tradition. And, and fourth one is the wind sand chicken. So this famous dish originated also in Guangdong and became a well-loved dish in Hong Kong and basically a whole chicken flavored and put in an oven about for about 20 minutes until the chicken the chicken skin turns brown. So the chicken is roasted and crispy on the outside and very smooth and tender inside. So the smell of the garlic pieces is exactly the right degree. Way to prepare chicken also is way flavorful because of the garlic. But of course, for those people who are not a fan of garlic, then this is an issue to them. And lastly, the shrimp and chicken balls. So it's a Chinese name. It's the dragon and phoenix balls. Dragon refers to the shrimp and phoenix refers to the chicken. The name is related to Chinese royalty, the emperor dragon and the queen phoenix. And of course, this usually served during Chinese wedding ceremonies. Firstly, shrimp and chicken meat are chopped finely and kneaded into balls. They are formed into balls together, the shrimp and chicken, and usually they use the breast part of the chicken, and then they are deep fried with bread crumbs. So the bowl are crispy and tender. Now let's proceed to the top festival in Hong Kong. So we start off the Thai Kok Cho Temple Fair. One of the most vibrant celebration in Hong Kong is during the Thai Kok Cho Temple Fair. This festivity is dedicated to God of the Sea and the name of the God of the Sea of Thai Kok Cho Temple Fair is Hong Xing, the God was highly respected. And the fishermen in the Chinese villages, in the olden time, hence they are celebrating the Thai Kok Chu Temple Fair. Hong Xing was also regarded as the king of the sea. And upon his early death, a temple was built after him and worshippers asked already for protection and good luck as they sailed through the sea. Next is Dragon and Lion Dance Festival. It's a very common festival in Chinese culture. So every year on January 1st, the Hong Kong Dragon and Lion Dances Festival is held. And so Dragon and Lion Festival is not done during the time of Chinese New Year. It's done during the Gregorian New Year. So if happen be in Hong Kong during this time, be prepared to enjoy and see hundreds of celestial gardens. Colorful dragons, lion, and Acrobat as well. A happy Buddha dancing and paradising throughout the street of Hong Kong. And this is to usher the new year. This Hong Kong tradition is really a feast for the eyes because of the colorful, colorful paradise of dragon and lion. And of course, the colorful costumes of all the participants. So if the dragon and lion dance festival is done during the Gregorian New Year, of January 1st, then we have a separate festival in Hong Kong for the Chinese Lunar New Year. Third is Chinese New Year of Hong Kong. Hong Kong Chinese New Year Festival is one of the most colorful and biggest festival in the world. Locals mark location with unique fusion of modern fun and Asian costume. There is also much to see and enjoy during this festival from local and international performers. Two flamboyant flower markets and fabulous fireworks which are 
in full display in Hong Kong. Chinese New Year is also known as the Spring Festival in celebrating January or February depends on lunar calendars and it is continuous until the 5th of the lunar calendar. And as a matter of fact, it is not only Hong Kong that celebrate Chinese New Year, but most countries that have good, good Buddhist citizens or they have practiced Buddhism would celebrate the Chinese New Year also. Also in the Philippines, since there are many Chinoy or Filipino Chinese, we also celebrate the Chinese New Year. I think that's it, and I hope you learned something. Once again, I am Ermian Pirater. I am Edwin Ortiz Jr. I am Chalky Pua. And I am Vladimir Joshua Perez. Thank you and, and thank you. enjoy. Thank you. Bye.